see that big ass tank? Oh, oh, that's right, I saw it. God, it's so hot. Rock and Reefs, let me show you this company. South Florida is like a hub for aquarium stuff, it's amazing. Now, this company makes uh, artificial decoration for public aquariums. So, you know, those um, they call it habitat, but they make those artificial decorations. This one's high quality uh, the artificial decoration, of course, it's safe, uh, color doesn't really fade with time, everything is pretty much handmade, customized. So, let me show you. I got my friend Jared and Keith. Keith is the owner of Rock and Riffs, so I'll show you again. I'll show you those guys. Right. Rockin' Reefs! It's here looking good. You see what we got going on over here? Oh my god, I'm excited. Because you know a lot of people they don't see like they never see these. And right. I never see these also. So this is super exciting for people to see. Alright, let's see. You see that big ass tank? Oh that's right, I saw it. Originally it was gonna be over a fireplace new construction. I think they are are omitting the fireplace, but it was still built for that shape. For a fireplace on the bottom? Correct. Two-sided. Oh my god. So, we are building a drop-down reef on both sides. Is this connected? This is all one tank. Wow, this must be some skill to make this acrylic all... It is. This was made by our friends at Titan Aquatic Exhibits out in Arizona. Wow. Good job, Titan. Excellent. I should go there one day. I you will. should. I Go should. see Brian or Neil. Um, but yeah, they make a lot of our, you know, a lot of tanks that we work with. Look at just the structure. Look at just the structure to hold this thing. So you put the pallet jack and it lifts everything up? No problem. Well, the forklift. We the actually, forklift, yeah. We actually have to take it from here and oh lift my it. I'll be so nervous to do it from here. Yeah, well, we take precautions. You know what you're doing. We know what we're doing. Hey, I don't know what I'm doing. Tell me about this massive. Look at that. Look at. Look. Let's just go. Look at the size of this thing. Where is this going, Jerry? So these are projects that we do almost every year. Um, this year we have the pleasure of doing two of these projects. So this is for a, a sporting goods store out in the Midwest. This one's going to be in Texas. The other three are going to be in Minnesota. Um, what it is is these are built in sections. They're 30 inch sections. 14 foot cylinders that are going in a 16,500 gallon aquarium. And each reef, as far as pillar, is in five sections because we actually do the install. So you can see right here where this one's in half. What, do you stack them up? They stack. So there's a seam. There's a seam here. Oh my god. There's a seam. No way. It's There's hard to see, and it's not finished yet, so it's just... So you're still good. going to cut it, right? Well, these are cut. This these are all cut. Here, look. <laughs> yeah, I see that. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. all cut, so... God, this is impressive, Jared. This one's not cut. So wow. basically, the way that we built these, we built these super tight to the plumbing because it's only a, I want to say a 75 inch tube. So we have to have divers go in there. So we built these, these are the, the, the tightest reefs we were able to build by bringing the plumbing in. And by doing that, you got this really thin structure. But because it's such a thin structure and it's just a wall of rock, 
we started doing these very unique swim throughs that are giving it so much different depth and habitat for fish. And it doesn't really expand the, the uh, doesn't really create, or doesn't take up, edit this, it doesn't take up a lot of space. One of my favorite swim throughs here. This Just, is phenomenal, Jared. I love this, I've never seen this before. It's all new. I mean, we are detail. definitely, this is all hand applied, encrusting elements. All the brains are hand applied, all the encrusting sponges and everything is all hand applied. We also have over here, this one's more complete. These are all removable. No way. So you can, you know, pop them out, clean them. Oh, that's very smart. That's something new that you guys just did, no? What's that? Are all of them like that? No, no, no. just the finger claws. You can see. No, where, you're looking. You're, you can see we're applying. Right, we're applying the. Uh, this is like this is like the beginning. This is actually putty right now. They're putting the epoxy on. So these are all reefs ready to go. This is an amazing turtle enclosure we're working on. Oh wow! Look at this. It's gonna have waterfalls. Oh, the PVC and stuff. You've been. Look at that fancy heat gun, I guess. <laughs> blower. Is it a fancy one or just a heat gun? Or is it actually a blower that you guys paint over? No, it's actually my wife's hair dryer. Don't show this because she will yeah, yeah, look yeah, for it. Yeah, more of it today. Starts out, we do some rough sketches. And then we get the drawings of the tank. We actually. You know, like this is probably one of my most. Like this is a favorite, my one of my favorite inserts here. This floating reef. We were sent a. Uh, we were sent the concept, and the client wanted something with not that big of a footprint, but he liked the way this one piece of live rock. So we built that. So Rock and Reefs is actually a distributor of Pangea America. We're actually the importer and the distributor in the U.S. So this is a commercial grade synthetic sea grass, kelp and algae. You can actually see, look at the eel grass. Eel grass. See these like seahorses and stuff. Seahorses love it. Now you can see the different variegation, the different translucency, the colors. It actually looks supernatural. Um, let me see real quick. We have this two inch acrylic mooring disc so you can bed it down in the sand. This is actually our competitors. <laughs> um, their disc and our disc. So, you know, it's a little different of a product. Um, we have the fastest lead time in the business. Sorry, kid, that I miss you, but this is looking amazing. I'll see you next time. Bye.